Hey there guys and welcome back to our channel where I show you how to use AI effectively. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to remix your favorite songs for free with the use of AI. I'm sure the DJs and music producers among us are excited for this video. Let's see how this works, shall we? Remix Live 7. Thanks to the addition of AI Remix to this app, there are few that can compete with the remixing ability of Remix Live 7. This new AI feature will actually allow you to remix any song of your choice. Any! This process begins by creating a new project before selecting the song of your choice. Once the song has been selected and put into the app, the AI gets to work immediately by dividing the song into four separate tracks – vocals, instruments, drums and bass. Once this splicing process is complete, you can actually listen to these separated parts individually, thereby allowing you to keep or eliminate any part of the song that you may or may not want in your remix. Furthermore, you can also define regions of the song so that the different rows in your remix can be identified and represented individually. As you can see, when you select a region, the playback head moves to the beginning of the region within seconds. You'll also find that there are six proportional regions, all of which could be removed individually as well. Also, if you choose, you can even add more regions to the six that already exist. To increase the speed of your workflow, double tap on a region of choice so that you can zoom in on it for precise editing. To create a new one, the size of the interval, double tap in the gap in between two regions. Don't forget, these regions can be given individual names or renamed just so that you can keep your project neat and organized. Once you're satisfied with the layout you set up, you can save it so that you can now proceed with a remix pack. Experimenting with loops. Once we are done with the initial processes, we can now turn our attention to the loop grid, which is now ready for you to remix. Start off by listening to the different rows. Pretty neat, right? To proceed with a remix, the next thing that you have to do once you're on the loop grid is to clean up the project so that we can save the things that we'd like to keep in our remix. The choice is yours. It could be the vocals, the bass, just the instruments or any combination of your choice. Afterwards, you can also reorganize your grid by moving the pads around. More instruments. Now that everything seems organized, we can now get into it. With the different loops in place, we can start the remixing process by first slowing the project's BPM to something around 125, thereby making your song something of a house remix, for example. To take things one step further, add what may be the most important instrument used in the dance music genre, the kick drum. Apart from this, the AI-assisted sample recommendation feature has made it easy to discover what might be the most appropriate sample for the selected pad. Continue with the remix by adding hi-hats. Following this, accentuate the rhythm by adding a clap. This could serve as the basis of construction for the entire remix. Once this is done, we can add some harmonic and melodic features to your remix by selecting melody loops and background pads in the song. Once more, it's possible to use the AI recommendation feature to find a loop that's compatible with your song. However, in our case, we've already organized our sample that will be entering our remix in a pack. Experiment with a pack. At this stage, we can fully go in on the project by working on the structure of the remix. This can be done by putting together different combinations of pads so that we can hear and know how they may come together. Take a step back and listen as you enjoy your work so far. Now that you've listened to the sample so far, if you're happy with the arrangement that you'd like for the remix, you can now proceed to record the remix. Recording. The first step is to start with the arrangement of your choice. Here we'll start with a the kick, then the guitar and then the vocals. Following this, add the hi-hat groove and finally add a soft synth pad in the background so that everything can come together just like we hoped it would. Now we can drop the beat, then the bass. Now we can break it up at this point. We can take things even further by dropping the beat. Sounds like your jam is coming out just fine. Once this is done, it's time to give it one last listen so we can see if we need to carry out a few more edits before we download our new jam. Edit and share. At this point, we can now edit whatever mistakes we've made in the recording. 
Once you're truly satisfied, we can export and download the song so that you can share it with the world. Hit the download button and let the world know that there's a new DJ in town. With that, this video has come to an end. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more interesting tutorials. Until next time, bye!